my name is Hello, and welcome back to Dreamcraft. Now, I just want to say I'm so, 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 so sorry for no episode yesterday. The server was down, and so I, there wasn't really much I could do. So I just kind of took a break for myself, and um, now we are back. I also want to say this is episode 14 now, which means it's almost been two weeks, and uh, yeah. Is it episode 14? I feel like- wait, I feel like it should be more than 14. Hold on, let me check. Oh, it's episode 14 because I did two part nines. Okay, so today is episode 14, and thank you, Brahimic Boy, for <laughs> sleeping. Um, and there is a little bit of a surprise, which I kind of accidentally leaked in the intro, but, um... I- I came on the server today to do a little bit of resource gathering, and there is a- a, a beacon? Coming out of my dirt hut? Like, what? Um, excuse me? <laughs> what? Um, okay, so we are gonna go check that out, actually. Let's do that right now. I haven't been in here, but I have done a bit of resource gathering for today's episode. What? Oh, it's a beacon. What is it? Wait, it's level- it's a full level? What? So we can do like speed, jump boost, resistance, strength. Oh, I'll probably go for speed around. Okay, hold on. Ah. Yellow goes there. And then orange goes on top of there. But we have to get a gem to do it. And then we can have speed. Wait, we can have speed around our base. Wait, that's actually kind of cool. I really like that. Um, valuables. It just takes like one item, doesn't it? Like, you don't have to do anything else, do you? I don't think so. Ah. Um, speed 2. Do I have speed 2 now? Um. Oh, you have speed! Yes! Haha, <laughs> now I don't know how far it goes, but that doesn't really matter to be honest. So I have done quite a bit of resource gathering for today's episode already and was super easy because I already knew what I wanted which is useful. So what I was planning on building yesterday I'm just not gonna do um, because I didn't really have any Oh, it despawned. I didn't really have any ideas for it anyway. Why should we build today's episode? I don't know. I need water um because it isn't in the water um but today we are going to be building a submarine which is awesome um we could build it out here in this river here would that work but then i feel like that's a bit smaller than i anticipated because um yeah right i anticipated for a big submarine so i kind of want it to be decently big oh frame dropping Like, it could be there, in this corner. I don't know, I, 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 I feel like I should look for the perfect spot, instead of just settling for something mediocre. And so, I think that's what I'm going to do. I think I'm going to fly about. Actually, I'm going to make more rockets before I fly about. And this farm area over here has been absolutely amazing for paper and... Um, what is this? Cacti and like green dye and stuff. It's not the fastest thing ever, but it's really good and I really, really enjoyed making it. So yeah. We don't talk about it. So um, I'm going to make some rockets and see kind of how far I can go and like if there's a suitable kind of ocean area around me. I'm not going to look in the map because I just kind of want to fly to be honest. I feel like the limiting factor is gunpowder now and now I feel like a lot of people have gunpowder on farms and so it's kind of stupid to make a gunpowder farm but also I'm kind of too broke to be buying stuff from people. So um, yeah. Dilemmas, dilemmas. Okay so if we go off in this direction over here is there anything? This is going to be very, very laggy, so I might cut it and see if I can find a location 
with our recording because god damn loading chunks is laggy as hell. Oh. Actually, this looks like a good area here. Let me just load chunks around it. This is really useful for knowing where things are. So, I think I will build it in the ocean that's over here. It's really not far, I don't think. It's like 100 blocks, maybe? Um, I think I will just build it in the bay here. Basically, we're building a submarine using these materials, not using the sand, but using these materials which you may remember from my old base, um, but we do not talk about that. I do not know how to build a submarine. I'm gonna go look at some reference pictures real quick, because I think I know what a submarine looks like, but also at the same time I don't think I do. So uh, I'm gonna look at some reference pictures, I will be right back. What I've discovered from scrolling through Google for a few minutes is that submarines do not look like what I thought they looked like. <laughs> um, but that is fine. We will work with what we have. So, we're gonna go this far into the ocean maybe, and we're just gonna do it. So this is gonna be the center of my submarine. So this is gonna be the middle of it. Um, and then we also need a point. Like that. No, I want one more out, and then that there. Disconnected. Thought, thought so. Thought that would happen. And my internet's gone off. That is fun. <laughs> and that was a interesting turn of events, which I did not imagine happening. Basically, my whole Wi-Fi went down, um, and I am currently accessing Minecraft via my phone. Like, my phone's hotspot thing. Um interesting setup but we are making it work so we do need to get back to building this submarine because it will not build itself will it they kind of have like a point here i think like right there that actually looks pretty good okay can you can you please go away Dran, you're really annoying me I got a drown's head! Ugh. Yeah, boys! Actually, I need that. I'm working underground. Um, underwater, I mean. This actually looks like kind of good. I wasn't expecting it to look kind of as decent as it looks. Like, it doesn't look half bad. But I think I'm gonna pull that out by one there. And then, yeah, that looks so much better that, that side than this side, so that's what we're gonna do. Okay, I'm gonna continue building this. Um, it should be a fairly quick build, um, it shouldn't take too long, but we also have to decorate it as well, so remember that that's something we have to do. And also, I'm not, I'm gonna have like a little poppy up thing that so you can like see the shore from it. I don't, I don't know how to make that make sense, but I think you guys know what I mean, right? Right? You guys have got to know what I mean, like cartoon submarine. Not really going for realism here. Okay, and... Oh, can I get out? Thank you. I need to get more air. But the submarine kind of shell is done. I haven't done the little bit that comes up, and I've got to put in the windows, but I think I'm going to drain the inside. I think, yeah, I think that's the best call for action right now. I'm going to fill up the holes and then I am going to use sand to drain the insides. Um, I'm going to fill up the holes with glass just like that. Let's hope I don't misplace one. I'm not going to fill the last one in yet because I don't know how I'm going to get out of here quite yet because I haven't built the up thing. So I'm just going to drain all of this out. Okay, and it is all slowly draining away now, which means that the inside of this is now officially kind of airtight. We have this one hole because I don't know how I'm going to get out otherwise. Um, but now let's find sort of the centre. One, two, three. One, two, three. So this is sort of the centre here. So, yeah, I've just flooded it again, which means that this is fine to be replaced with. Now we need to create a thing that goes up and out. It is nighttime. Fun. Normally it would be thinner, um, but I kind of don't want it to be that thin because I 
I don't know, I just, I feel like thicker would look more cartoony and more better for, like, the style that I'm going for, because I know in reality it's thinner. Also, it's really scaring me how it's nighttime. Um, okay. How does that look? Oh my god, it looks huge, but I love it. <laughs> it looks so stupid. I love it. Oh my lord, it looks amazing. Okay, so I think I am going to have kind of window holes in this area, like that and there. I feel like that would make a lot of sense. Um... Also, we have to have a way to get into this place somehow. Now, I know normally it would kind of be a sealed door, but in Minecraft, um, we, we can't really do that. So I think... Can I get through here, please? Thank you. Okay, I think that I might have a door somewhere. Okay, so I'm going to extend this by one more, and then fill it with glass, and then see how that looks, because... That, sh that would be the final sort of look for it, wouldn't it? Okay, so if we fill this in with light blue stained glass, let's see how that looks now. I love it. <laughs> it looks so stupid, but I love it. Oh my lord, it is not secretive whatsoever, but it is amazing, and I love it. It looks so silly. My lord, okay. So we I wanna go in, please. Thank you. Can I go in? Can I let me go in? Thank you, okay. So if we drop down into this area Um we need to find a place that um we need to find a place for a door. So I really don't no. Okay, I think I'm gonna drain. I'm gonna fill all of these in. Like that. And I'm gonna fill this in here. And I'm gonna drain this area here. And destroying sand is absolutely amazing. Okay, and now I can break that there. That is our submarine. Not done yet because we do need to put the inside in. But how about this is our door here? Could that work? Or is that too much of a giveaway? We could have like a iron trap door somewhere maybe? Maybe we should have an iron trap door. At the bottom, at the bottom, maybe, I don't know. Okay, I'm gonna go get a few things that we could enter this place with, and then I will catch you guys back. Okay, so I've gotten a trapdoor and a thing. Why would I need two? Why, why am I like this? Okay, so if I do that there, and put that there. And that doesn't work. Okay. Yeah, that doesn't work. So how can I do this then? Maybe just a normal trapdoor? Do I have normal wood on me? No, I don't. Okay, let's let's go get some normal wood. Can we make a trapdoor? We don't have enough spruce wood. Come on, let me make a trapdoor, please. Spruce trapdoor. Okay, right. Okay, that's not gonna work. If I do it there, like that, and let me remove this. Please let this work. Okay, that kind of works. It's really, like, kind of glitchy, but, you know, it works enough for it to work. Okay, so now we need to focus on, like, the inside and what everything's going to be looking like. Now, one of these sides has to have... Let's do it there. 
this is going to be a ladder going up so yeah so i'm going to put some kind of seats in here um something like i don't know i don't know what to put in a submarine like what do you put in a submarine maybe i could put some secret storage sort of things down here maybe some barrels i'm, I'm gonna go collect a few things and then i will catch you guys back and we can decorate the inside of it together Okay, so I kind of thought I was recording and did a bit of stuff. So what I've done is I've put slabs here so that when you come in, you can hop up onto them and then close it because getting like on top of this is a bit of a stretch and it's a bit hard. So yeah, I actually think I might get rid of this one. You're not going to be going like that side, are you? Anyway, yeah. <laughs> so, um... I've placed in quite a few seats and I've placed in a crafting bench here. Um, also, we need light sources, which I'm going to use end rods because I feel like it fits the kind of aesthetic in here. If there is one, I didn't, don't know if there is, but if there is one, it fits it. Um, also, I kind of want to make floors um, up here, like there then we have some like rather annoyingly placed but quite handy levels like this and so yeah um i do want to put we don't have any chairs left okay so i want to put a bed in here eventually so you can look out of those ones um but you can't look at the top ones up here i don't know what else to put oh yeah i need chairs don't i i want to put one up here and one there as well i really like like the layout of this submarine um i also want to make a few barrels and things hold on okay so if we go up here right to the top um i'm thinking we do it like that and have a chair here and a chair here and then have this be stairs here like that maybe I think that makes a lot of sense, but then I also, I, I probably want a backing to this here. How much iron do we have? We have a fair bit of iron. Um, actually, we're going to put up one more because I like being able to just hop on it. Okay. Iron fences, is that it? Is that what I'm looking for? Iron fences, yeah. Iron bars. I only want one. Um, okay, so let's see if this will work here. Because basically, this is kind of like the lookout. But kind of... Um, is that going to let me go up? Yeah, then you can't go back unless you... Okay, yeah, that makes sense. Okay, so we've got iron bars there. And then you can kind of look out here. It's, it's... This is where you'd look out if, if you were on a secret spy mission. Um, <laughs> so let's go down here and let's place these barrels in places um we can put one there and one there might be handy um let's just go and make a few more barrels actually barrels are really useful because they do not require anything above them to be used like you, you don't have to have something like a chest above it um like that so around the entrance that you can still get up that entrance okay um then we don't have any more slabs <laughs> and even though there's quite a few seats we're not gonna have that many beds we're gonna have two up here and then well we can't have hold on i didn't make enough slabs i, I never make enough of things then we can have one at the top, or are we going to put two at the top here? We can probably fit two at the top there. We can probably fit three at the top there, but that doesn't make sense. So we're not going to count these seats. Um, so we have one, two, three, four beds, and we have one, two, three, four, five, six forward spacing seats, and then these two I don't think would normally have people in them maybe like the same these two would use up there sort of thing so six two seven eight nine ten ten people can sit in here whereas only four people can sleep in here so that kind of makes sense 
Um, not really though, but we, we don't really talk about it. Um, unless we could make... Do you think we could make some bunk beds up here? Would that work? Like, would something like that work? Um, I'm gonna go actually... <laughs> I'm gonna go get some beds. Because otherwise I can't test if this works. Um, so I'm gonna go get some beds and I will be right back. Okay, and I'm back with stupid amounts of wool, but um, this should be enough to craft stupid amounts of beds, which is kind of what we need right now, isn't it? Let's put all of these in to our hotbar. Perfect. Um, and we can test the theory. Okay, so that can definitely go there, and this can definitely go there. Now, if I don't really want the non-matching ones in. Can that go there? Okay. So, I think I'll have to test it by sleeping. Um, so, I'm gonna ask everybody. So, I've asked everybody, and I'm pretty sure they should be fine with it. Yeah, they are fine with it. Which is nice. I like everybody on the server. <laughs> and that also means that we can have one up there. Probably for one of the captains to sleep in right at the top here. Doesn't matter, I placed it wrong. <laughs> okay, that one is definitely gonna work there. These two should work. I want to test these two up here. Um, so I'll probably hop into them. If this works, we have four, five, six, seven beds available and six people sitting here and then we can have a maximum of, of 10 so th that makes more sense doesn't it because in reality this would be moving and invading enemy lines and so you couldn't exactly have everyone sleeping at one time so um yeah now i have all i've got to do is i've got to wait for it to become night time so um yeah okay <laughs> this should be working right now um, bed is obstructed. Okay, so it doesn't work. So these beds over here don't work. They are obstructed, I presume, by the thing above it. By this here. So if we just kind of remove this and make it like that, would that work? That might work. That is a f bed. That is a full block of space, which worked for these, didn't it? Um, whereas right now it is only half a block of space. Okay. So how are we going to make this red bed work? Are we just going to put it up here? Honestly, that might be a better bet. I think I'm just going to shove it up here. But that does make me sad because actually we can just replace the beds. Hold on. <laughs> We need to do a little bit of shuffling, but this should work. The red bed to be here. Um, because otherwise then this won't have a, a double thing. So that is enough space. That is enough space. Um... Actually, I think I might move this yellow bed to be here, and then put a super special thing in that corner if I can go and get it. Hold on. Bam. We put a barrel in that corner, which makes that look so much more complete. So four people sleeping up here, three people sleeping down here, which kind of makes more sense. Um, I do need to test this bed, um, but I think I'm going to do that off camera. If it doesn't work, that's only one bed that doesn't work. These will definitely work because there is a block and a half, and uh, I'm 90% sure this red one here will work, but I do need to test it because we, we might have to raise this whole floor up by one, if that makes sense. Um, which would be a bit annoying because it, it's very tight for space just because of all the beds that we have to fit in but i still really like looking out over here so um yeah but unfortunately ladies and gentlemen that is all we have time for today i hope you guys enjoyed and if you did then make sure to like comment and subscribe and if you have then turn on those post notifications so that i can see you next time bye